Florida's governor recently announced the arrest of nearly 20 former Florida felons for illegally voting in the 2020 election. Those arrests spearheaded by the state's new elections crimes and security office. Tonight, investigative reporter Kate Legrone goes in depth looking into the new office focused on combating election fraud. Not just going to turn a blind eye, a blind eye to this. The days of that happening in Florida are over. It was a splashy press conference from Broward County. We're going to be very watchful uh, of the people who vote. In August, the governor, flanked by local law enforcement and state VIPs, announced his new elections crime and security office. And this was my idea. Had made its first catch. Nearly 20 former felons caught illegally voting in 2020. It's not just going to be 20 arrests. This is the opening salvo of an office that was just set up on July 1st. Though a new Florida amendment now lets many former felons vote, those convicted of murder or certain sex offenses are excluded. No kind of way is fair. Which is how Robert Simpson of Palm Beach County made the list. It's got to be some kind of setup. Now 64, he was convicted and served time for murder three decades ago. Like many of these new charged ex-felons, Simpson says he too thought his voting rights had been restored, especially after filling out voter applications, then being sent voter registration cards. I didn't walk up in somewhere and just try to vote uh, without the right procedures. I had everything in my possession to uh, do it legal. While these recent arrests are fueling outrage and disgust among voting rights experts. It's outrageous. We have a system that is designed to entrap people effectively. And a growing number of legal questions over intent and blame. None of this voting was the fault of the supervisor. This is just the first step. There's many more in the pipeline. We're also learning more about the state office that catapulted these former felons into the election spotlight. This, this is the day that we begin taking fraud seriously. Pete Antonacci leads the unit. A former state prosecutor, he most recently served as supervisor of elections in Broward County during 2020 when a few of these ex-felons illegally voted there. This is the first of it. You'll see more uh, of these actions. But beyond him, we've discovered the new unit with a total budget of three and a half million dollars currently has just two additional employees, a significant worker shortage for an office earmarked for 31 positions, 10 of them from Florida's Department of Law Enforcement alone, whose own agents work these recent ex-felon cases. We know nothing. Professor Dan Smith is a political science professor at UF. He's also testified in voting rights cases against the DeSantis administration. We don't know who their staff is. We don't know who their database managers are. We don't know what kind of algorithms they're using to match people to various databases. Nothing is transparent. We asked to speak with the head of this new election crimes unit. A spokesperson from the Department of State told us no. He also has not answered our questions about the credentials of these other employees, but says they are hiring. FDLE plans to have its 10 positions for this unit filled by the end of this month. Katie Legrone, back to you.